Hey guys! Today I'm going to be sharing with you um, the books I read in September. It was, I guess, a normal month for me now. I usually read from three to five books. Um, so the first book I read was uh, Women Who Run With The Wolves. This is my Portuguese version. Please excuse that. Um, I read the second chapter and I feel like things really started developing there. Um, the introduction and the first chapter are very boring, very heavy, very slow and the second chapter is where um, the tales start to elaborate more. I think it was much easier to read and I really learned a lot and could um, connect to a lot that she said so and I, I do agree with my um, psychologist when she said it's a book that you can have on your nightstand and like read pieces like in different points of your life it's very very useful for women men too if they really want to understand women in a psychological way which if <laughs> if you know men like that please I'm in their contacts. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to discussing that with my book club. It, it really, I could really relate to it and things that are happening in my life right now with the, um, the Bluebeard um, story. So yeah, uh, about us not dealing with uh, our own mysteries and issues and uh, sometimes um, not accessing them when we're in relationships, not using our instincts, so yeah, really, really good. Then I read Normal People by Sally Rooney. I had heard about the series and everyone was saying it was so good and I wanted to watch that, but it's on Hulu and I could not access that being in Brazil right now. So I just uh, got the book and it's amazing. Like I read it like in two days. I give it like a five out of five. I don't know if I did that before with the reviews, but it's definitely a five out of five for me. Um, at twenty percent, I was already crying because I could relate so much to the story, the way she describes feelings. I, I think it was so deep and and it's not like this huge tragedy, you know, but it still really, really touched me. I I think anyone can relate to that with young love and our insecurities, I guess. I don't want to spoil too much, but it's about um, these two kids, or I guess teenagers when they meet, and they start getting together, like they hook up, uh, but then they're not together anymore and they go into college and they run into each other and then they have another go at that uh, love story yeah and I, I don't want to give too much but I think it was like really well written um, I liked how deep she went into feelings and thoughts and thoughts I I love this book, really recommend, I think you should read it and I'll, and I'll probably be watching the series next it's amazing so I also read Contact by Carl Sagan um, this book was recommended um, to me by a friend um, a university um, colleague actually we studied international affairs together and I really connect to her because um, because she also has this wider view on life, you know, like with the universe and and she really likes astronomy, so she recommended this book. She said it's one of her favorites, and it was really really good. I would give it a four point five out of five. Yeah, just because it was like a romance to me. And I know not every book is about romance, but uh, this book was really, really good. Um, mainly about uh, space traveling. And it existing like um, life 
outside of Earth. It's really, really cool. I don't want to spoil, but like, it was really good. It, it went into detail about it, like about astronomy, about um, space science. It was really, really good. And it has a very deep message, which I guess it's a funny way to say it, but you'll get it if you read it. Um, yeah, I think it was really good. Uh, it was a bit of slow at times, but overall I really wanted to finish it. And I think I read it in three days or something. Really, really good. It's about this, um, this lady who's a scientist. And she monitors and studies uh, radio frequencies. And they get a message. And they're trying for a long, long time trying to decipher it. And it's a joint um, effort with many nations in the world. And yeah, I don't want to spoil it, but it's really good about space traveling. I think you should read it if you like sci-fi. So next I read The Wife Between Us. Um, it's a suspense and I really really enjoyed it because you start reading and you think you know what's going on and it's sad but you want to know what's going to happen but it has a good twist and then you're like what? and then you need to get through the end to see what happened so yeah I would give it a 3.5 out of 5 like if you like suspense go for it it's not one that I'll recommend to every friend I have but it was good I think it was a better version of the golden cage yeah I think just because this was um this um is based in the US so I think it's easier to relate to than the gold cage which is in uh Sweden so yeah it's about um this woman and she's getting through her divorce and she finds out her ex-husband is getting married and the story goes from there like her retelling what happened to her yeah I, I think it was good it was well written and it did have a good twist so 3.5 out of 5 then the last book I read the it's Midnight Sun by Stephanie Meyer I think this is very popular not always loved, but very, very popular. Um, I had uh, read her books, you know, from the Twilight Saga when I was a teenager. Uh, they were alright. I, I don't think the movies did them justice. But I also have some issues with uh, the way she portrayed Bella, which I also have here. But I like this so, so, so much better than... Um, the, the other Twilight books just because uh, it is told by Edward so you're getting uh, his view of things and that man he suffers like he's very deep and he goes through a lot of thought and a lot of feelings and he's like fighting wanting to be with her but not wanting to kill her uh, not knowing why he can't read her mind and being able to read other people's minds and wanting her it's it was deep and heavy like I really enjoyed this I also think I read it like in three days it's really good I'll give it a four out of five I think you should read it even if you didn't love um, the Twilight Saga I think this is much better and yeah, my issue with it is the same with the Twilight Saga. I, I don't think she gave uh, a good set of um, char characteristics to Bella to make us relate to her. Because when you're reading this book or the other ones, you just get the idea that she's kind of bland and you don't really get why you would fall with her, you know? But yeah, this this was good and deep. I, I really enjoyed reading this one, which I did not expect. So yeah, these were the books I read in September. I already started reading a few good ones for October. 
so hopefully uh, I'll have good reviews by the end of the month and please leave me any recommendations down below and I would really appreciate if you could like it or subscribe thank you for watching